Hello friend, this is Rupesh and you are watching CPP Nuts video series on CE interview questions. So what I really want to explain here is what is the difference between creating memory dynamically like using malloc and using a variable length array. What is variable length array? If there is a function, let's say integer fun and you are giving some parameter to this like integer n and with this n you create an array. Let's say we have ARR and you are passing this and in this bracket so this is variable now you can call this function from main and pass this variably and this array will get created variably it is not a constant array and yes it is supported in c so this is variable length array but that's not it i'll talk about many things about this like where you should use this and where you should use dynamic array dynamic array we all know that how to create it like using new or malloc or something and we all know like how malloc goes. So let me show you the example itself. It will be very helpful for us to understand this. So if you notice here, we have fun one and fun two. Fun one is actually a dynamically memory created inside this and this fun two is showing the variable length array. Now this piece of code is actually similar for both. The difference is the way you are creating the memory here and here. Now let's talk about the differences. In variable length array, you create this array and this memory is coming from automatic storage available whereas in dynamic memory allocation we all know that it comes from heap now this was a very basic difference let's talk about when you should go for this the point is when you want more control over memory like you want to construct it or resize it because this is fixed now you cannot change the length of this array we all know that right but here you can resize this array to something else to better suit your requirement but this is kind of fixed and second is also similar to the first one but i'll give you an example here the point is let's say you call this function one and you did something here and after calculating something with this array now you're done with this array and you don't want it anymore what you can do is you can free it and then after this, you can write something in this function where you don't need this array. And the function, let's say, maybe something, I don't know, this function will run like for 10 hours or maybe forever. So the difference here is if the same function is written here, then in that case, this memory, whatever memory you had here, would still be occupied by the system. Like it is there for your use, whereas you don't need it because you are already done. You don't want this array anymore. But here you can freely, I mean free it. And for this, it is very easy to construct. You can see that, okay, it is a normal construction. How you started learning C, you would have seen this kind of constructions, right? But this is a little bit tricky. I mean, you have to do a little bit of extra stuff to get this done. Whereas if your job is just to pass some five, 10 or 20 or maybe 100, 200 elements, I don't think it will make such a difference and then unless you're working on some embedded system where your RAM is actually very limited, then you would like to go for this instead of this because then you have better control on memory which is created dynamically. But wait, don't go anywhere. The point is, this is quite slow. It doesn't have all the facilities you are looking for. Maybe your job is, let's say, you're playing some programming competitions, then this is not good idea to have. Why? Because actually this will ask OS to get the memory and then allocate that memory for you and you will get the pointer. So there is a kernel involved in this and things take obviously more time. There is no if and buts. It is actually slower than this. And yeah, I would like to mention one more thing. This VLA is available in C from C11. Okay. If you'll go prior to that, you won't get this feature. So this is kind of a limitation, but with this, it's like it will work from the very first day of C inventions. So you don't have to worry about the porting and all. And next point is about this. This is quite good in terms of getting the memory. What I mean is it can get any amount of memory. There is no limitation as soon as you want. If your system have it because it's a heap, you can get it. But here the stack limitations comes and you have limited amount of memory for this. So the final verdict is I will go for dynamic memory creation when I want 
more control on created memory in terms of resizing or freeing and there is no limitation but i'll go for vla variable length array when i want a faster memory allocation when i'm playing some programming competitions and i don't care about this memory much i have so much of memory and i don't care where this is coming from so i think it was interesting let me know in the comment section like was it new for you or what was new for you and if i made something and yeah i'll give you the link in the description field so that you can read out more about this because the more you read the better you get and before going to that link don't forget to hit the like button dude and if you are new to the channel hit that subscribe button i'll see you in the next videos bye bye take care